Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. Today I wanted to show you how to make some custom watch faces for your Moto 360 or any other Android Wear device you have. Uh, we're gonna do that with an app called Facer. And you can make digital or analog watch faces with Facer. Here are an example of some that I've made. These are all uh, analog, but you can make either one. And this is gonna be a quick introduction. We have a more in-depth post that this video will be accompanied by, uh, where you can learn how to make them. Uh, so we'll just we'll go into some of these watches. So this is a analog watch face, uh, Michigan watch face that I made. Here's a Fandroid one, which is actually also analog, though it looks digital. We'll go in and we will take a look at what made this. So these are the layers. And that's really what makes a watch face in this app. We have a layer for the background. We have a layer for text. We have a layer for uh, the rotating time. These are all the things that make up this watch. And I have them layered so that when you put them all together, it looks like this. Uh, so what I've actually done is uh, these rotate. And you do that with tags. Uh, so here's a rotation, and it's this weird random letters, D, W, F, M. What does that mean? Okay, so we go here, tags, show all tags, and D, W, F, M, right here, rotation value for minute hand. Uh, so all that does is it's going to rotate it according to the minutes for me. Simple as that. Uh, and then for text, for example, uh, this is a digital uh, part of this analog watch, I guess you could say. Uh, there's several different parts. But for this one, uh, all it is is it's the hour. So I scroll down, hour and day, AM, PM, 1 to 12, DH. And that's what I have here, so that displays it too. And under that is another one that displays the minute. And behind all that is the rotating hours and under that is a rotating minutes, and then there's a background, and then we got this Fandroid guy on the front. And that's what made up all of this. The cool thing is you can go in here, dim display, and here's what it looks like when it's dimmed. How did I do that? Well, this background image is covered by everything normally, but I have checked display when dimmed. So when it's dimmed, things like this green background don't show up, but this does. And I've also made the time show up right here, and I've given it the gray color. So that's what it looks like when it's dimmed. We can also throw up a sample card, and we could change the time if we wanted to uh, check it out. And let's say, uh, what, what would it look like when I've got two digits there? There you go, 1239, looks good. Uh, and that's, that's really all you have to do. And if you wanted to take a really easy way out, you could browse some watches that other people have made and say, uh, hey, I really like this one, but I, I'd like to change something about it. So I'll download it. Whoop. So now it's in here. We'll go, oh, let's edit this. And uh, maybe. I like it, but you know what? I'm not a fan of this red accent here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm not a fan of that swooping action. Uh, I just want to see it like this. And there you go. You can customize it yourself. Uh, it's a really cool app. You can do a ton of stuff with it. Uh, there's actually a website, facerepo.com, where you can view ones that other people have made and easily add your own. Um, but one that I've made that you guys might be interested in is this Fandroid watch face, which I have loaded up right here. And that's the last thing to show you about this app. When you want to send something to your watch, I already got that one on, so let's send uh, let's send this cute little tiger guy. So we'll make sure my watch is on, hit that button, boom. We're gonna watch it load up. And sometimes this can take a little while uh, for some reason, so I'll just kinda do this. Okay, hey, hey, there we go. 
So yeah, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can make them some really complex designs, really simple designs, whatever you want. And once again, uh, be sure to check out our post on fandroid.com uh, for a more in-depth look at how to do this. Thanks for watching, guys.